Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Octopath Traveler. Last time we met Tressa here, and she told us about her encounter with some dastardly pirates who robbed from the poor and have now headed off to the Caves of Maya. So we're gonna go back and get that st those stolen goods to help out the poor people of this town. And we're gonna tell the pirates they should steal from the rich instead. Eat the rich. Anyway, um, so yeah, part of the Caves of Maya, let's go. Uh, ev everyone else is, is like stronger than they need to be at this point, but Tressa herself is a bit weak because she's still only level one. She should level up quite quickly though, because the danger level is much higher than her level. Uh, so hopefully she'll be reasonably strong soon. Let us begin. Oh, ba -do, ba -do, do, do, ba -do. Surprise your foe! Da 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 da! Not much that Ophelia can do just yet. Skull of silk is a lightning bolt on all foes. Break them all, yeah! <laughs> Coming if thou darest. So yeah, Tress is not very strong yet, and she doesn't have many, have many skills either. She can help, but not a lot. Thankfully everyone else is very strong, so we shouldn't have too much trouble getting past the enemies. You can see she just gained an entire level in one battle, so yeah. She'll be leveling up quite quickly. Like how you can stand in the holes in this bridge without any problem. There's a chest up here that I might want. It's got a hub of clarity. You surprised your foe, yeah I did. It's time for Hunter to attack. Use the bow, hit the flying fish in the face. You defend and then you use lightning bolts. Hit the bad guys. Tressa, you can use your bow if you want, but you need to level up to be strong like the rest of us. <laughs> Should get another level. There we are. So yeah, Tressa's gonna be a decently good level by the time we actually reach the caves, I expect. And we should have been able to learn at least one more skill as well. Which is good because we want trade winds. Not trade winds. Trade tempest. We already have trade winds. <laughs> uh. There's something here. It's a grape that heals. Time to teach you a lesson. Bum 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 Interesting dilemma. Okay, so uh, since Tressa has a pole arm, we can attack that front character without too much trouble, uh, which is an improvement on our previous situation. Hold on to hit that critter in the front there, that's Let's the way. Very good. <laughs> then it's Cyrus, he will use a lightning bolt. Nice. Everyone is dead. Tress is now level 4. And we can nearly buy another skill, we need 30 JP, so we're getting close. I'm gonna save here. There's actually a pirate standing outside the cave. I don't know if we have to fight them or what. Hello, pirate. Hey. Ahoy there, me hearty. Ah. Not you again. You looking for trouble, brat? No, sorry. I came to apologize on behalf of my town. 
We should have known we didn't stand a chance against you, swashbucklers. Will this do? This is for you. I hope you can forgive us. <laughs> Wine! Captain Cecil. Captain Cecil will be happy to see this. Captain Cecil will be happy to see this. That's a weird word. <laughs> <laughs> Bought himself. <laughs> Those landlubbers didn't even put up a fight. <laughs> Probably don't even know how. From the looks of it, they crusty barnacle of a town don't get many pirates. The strong take while the weak quake. And that's the way the world works. Words to live by, courtesy of Captain Leon Bastral, Scourge of the Seas. Hi. We set out to follow in his footsteps and ain't looked back since. There ain't no better life than just taking what you want. Shut! Captain, Captain! I told you, there ain't enough room for two captains around here. Right, like I said, you're just the first mate. Ah. Set your squabbling aside, Cappenses. We got more wine here. Yo. Did you say wine? <laughs> ah. That kid came by, said our town was sorry for what it done. <laughs> Those land lovers are fast learners. Or oh, they're too yellow bellied to put up a fight. Ha <laughs> ha! A toast to the landlubbers! To the limp like jellyfish of Ripple Tide. Cheers! Cheers, mateys! Cheers! To the pirate in life. Wow. It should be just about time. Alright, let's go! Let's save first. Boop. There we go. <laughs> Let's head on in. The Caves of Maya. Danger level 7. Tressa spotted 280, 280 leaves left behind an unfortunate soul. Yeah, Tressa does that. Every time you enter an area, basically, Tressa spots some money. And it's usually more than how much the inn costs. So, once you have her in the party, you don't really have to worry about paying for the inn ever again. <laughs> That's pretty great. Whoa! <laughs> well, that was easy. Huh. That's what they get for underestimating me. Uh, I feel like there are probably other pirates around besides that one. So, hmm. I don't know which way is the way to the main part and which way is the treasures. Obviously I want all the treasures, so... Uh, I think that just leads to that one. Oh my gosh, they're still asleep. <laughs> what is the logical course of action? Uh, let's try fire? I don't know what pirates are weak to. It's fire. I picked correctly. What next? Yeah. yeah. Tressa's level 5 and she'll get a new ability. Yeah, I'm immediately gonna give her Trade Tempest. It's just too useful in my opinion. Here we go. Boop. Trade Tempest. So yeah, that's 
It's kind of like the difference between um, Holy Light and Luminescence, but for Wind Magic. Uh, so yeah, good to have. Healing Grape. Sleeping Pirate. I like how the random encounters are with Sleeping Pirates. It's pretty funny. <laughs> uh, go this way. Go this way. There's more Sleeping Pirates everywhere. I think this leads to another treasure. It does. Let us begin. Well, these aren't pirates. Oh, uh, okay. Fire, fire. I was going to try... I guess I'll use my bow on this one. There we go. And then fireball on everything. Yep, that works. Cool. Uh, then harness. Then Ophelia. Ophelia, sorry. There we go. Bow da da da. Tressa didn't level up that time, but she's like halfway to leveling again, so. She's gonna get decently strong by the time we're done with the cave. Thunder Soul Stone. If you need anything, just say the word. Oh, I can buy stuff from you, right? Yeah, you sell grapes and stuff. I have lots of grapes. Look how many I have. <laughs> Don't need more grapes. I'm guessing those guys are gonna wake up when I come in to steal their treasure. Like they're pretending to be asleep or something. That's what I would do if I were some pirates and I discovered that the, that um Tressa had had put sleepweed in the wine she gave me. <laughs> I hope there's treasure in your dreams. Because there won't be any here when you wake up. <laughs> hey, what are you doing here? Uh... Me? Uh, well, I just came back to get the cask. I'll be going now. Oh, that's mighty kind of you. Mac! <laughs> Mac, you lazy son of bone, sack of bones, get up. We got ourselves an intruder. Oh. What? Uh-oh. You. Hey, I know you. You're that brat from the town. Oh, I gets it now. You came to steal our loot while he was sleeping, didn't you? You don't miss a thing, do you? You got guts, kid. But guts alone won't get you far in this world. We don't forgive none what tries to take our hard-earned loot. What? Hard-earned? You stole all of this. That we did, which makes it ours now. I mean, yeah, but you stole it from poor people, so it's not okay. Come on. Hey! You don't understand the meaning of earning anything. You don't understand all the love and care that went into making those products? How hard those people have to work to earn the satisfaction of their customers. And it's up to merchants like me to make sure those, these products find their way into the hands of those who can appreciate them. I won't allow so it. on my honor as a merchant, I will get those goods back. <laughs> you, sh you shark bait, you, you shark bait, brat. You got that. Don't expect this to go easy on ye. The world's a harsh place, as we're about to teach ye. So yeah, boss battle time. Yeah. Let's get down to business. To defeat the Huns. Uh, let's try Trade Tempest, because there's a chance I'll just be vulnerable to Tressa's attack because she's Tressa. They are, in fact, vulnerable to Trade Tempest. So there you go. Well, then. Uh, let's try some other stuff, see what else they're vulnerable to. Uh... Oh, 
I'm guessing that's all the magic they're vulnerable to. That would make sense. I suppose? Maybe. Okay, that guy's with the axe. That's useful. So yeah, definitely getting trade tempest is a good move, since they're both weak to it. Okay, that one's vulnerable to stay. Interesting. They have different weapon-based weaknesses. Yeah. Tressa. You can break that guy. There we go. Someone really needs to heal Tressa. Probably a Philia. the weaknesses. Probably an item I don't have. Or it could be pole arms, but I may as well just use the magic from Tressa. Hmm. Okay, yeah, then we have Ophelia. Use... Let's see. Feeling grape? Oh. There we go. Yeah, I need, to, I need to whittle these down again, of course. Um, let's try swords. Nope, not swords. We'll have to try. <laughs> Her a plum. There we are. She can use some more trade Let's tempest that way. She's really underleveled for this battle <laughs> compared to the others. Yeah, figured that wouldn't work. Um, hmm. 
Should give someone else the inspiriting plum, I think. Uh, sorry. There we go. Which is not good. Uh, I can at least do that straight away, take him down by three. Needs a plum. That's her again. There we go. Very tempest. <laughs> Much rather ever tried bows. Maybe they're weak to bows. Hmm. But it makes sense. Yeah, that guy's weak to bows, that makes sense. I don't know if the other one is as well, but that one is. I'll not be defeated. Break. Here I go. <laughs> yeah. What um. next? Try bows in the other guy and see. No, that one's not weak to bows. Hmm. my arrow fly and true. Interesting. Figured he would be, but he's not. Damage that does. I might try it soon. Not right now. Maybe it's on someone else's turn. It's like on it, maybe. Break. Trying this. Oh, that's pretty good damage, actually. Huh. I should use those more often. I'm out of wind. I only had the one wind soul stone, so I can't do it again, but... Yeah, that that's cool. <laughs> um, hmm. I think I feel like I should probably do something like this. Yeah, that's better. Break. Let's in the hunt begin. Let's the hunt, it's time to lose. Yeah. Rain and arrows up on them. Oh! Okay, there's only one left. We're doing we're doing good. We're doing good. My turn now. Trade wins. He probably needs more damage than that, but it's a good start. <laughs> Fireball, then it's on, it's turn to use our bow, do 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 Whatever. <laughs> um. I'll do my best. 
So I can just do that and break him again. That doesn't do as much damage as you might like it to do. Because, yeah, Tressa is still lower level. She'll probably level up to about the same as the others once we've done this, though. Uh, Ophelia doesn't have enough to do anything for that. Uh, he's gonna attack again. Okay, we survived that. Break. All right, we're good. We're good. Uh, you tweak the fire, so we'll do the fire. Still alive, really? How much health does this guy have? I guess a lot. <laughs> Trade winds was not enough. I'll do my best. Wins again, it's still not enough to beat him. That is simply hit him with a big stick and then shoot a thunder at him. There we go. Heck yeah. The hunt ends. Heck yeah. <laughs> Now hand over those goods. You're one tough barnacle to pick, but we're just getting started. Mateys. Oh no. Ugh. You're a ninny for challenging us all on your own. Um. Huh? What happened to the other three of us? In this world, the strong take while the weak quake. Time to learn your place, you squirmy little maggot. That's far enough. Oh, nice. Those who only pick on the weak and defenseless have no right to speak of the way the world works. What's that? Well, if it ain't the lily-livered scalawag from before. What difference does one more make? Get him. He done swabbed our decks. Just who are ye? Oh? Hmm? I think any I think any pirate worth his brine would already know. What? That blue spear. Oh! With the strength and swiftness of a viper. You can't be serious. Could it really be? Get me on the straw! <gasps> What? What? Captain, are you really THE Leon Bastral? <laughs> I, in name, though a pirate no longer. Now I'm just the captain of a humble merchant ship. What do we have here? Here's a lesson for you lads from a true man of the sea. Prepare yourselves. Dead men tell no tales. I... I ain't ready to be a dead man yet. Whole bottom mateys, else it'd be the locker for us. <laughs> <laughs> their feet are as quick as their wits are slow. Um... Um, Captain? Lass. Call me Leon, Lass. Mr. Leon, thank you for saving me. I believe one good turn deserves another. Now, have you gathered all you need? Yes. Yup, all such to bring back the goods. <laughs> Excellent work. Now you can return home. Your honour as a merchant, all the greater.
I must make for the docks. It's nigh time I set sail. I mean, high time, right? You're leaving so soon? Of course. The sea calls me, lass. Before I do... Hmm? Why don't you come by my ship? What's the matter? What are you waiting for, lass? Well, I... It's just, you said you only let those you trust onto your ship, so... So climb aboard already. It took a great deal of courage to stand up to those pirates, and I believe such bravery is deserving of reward. Huh? Reward? Hi. I've collected countless treasures from the furthest corners of the wor this world. They are my most prized possessions. And you may take whichever you fancy. Really? Hm. I, I could never take something so precious from you. It's okay, lass. I insist. Oh? Unless you don't care much for treasure, hmm? <laughs> when you put it that way, I can't really refuse. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> that's the spirit. I always knew the world was full of treasures. But I never dreamt I'd see such wonders. This is... beautiful. Huh. Oh. oh, a fine choice. What strikes you about the painting, lass? Well, I... Uh, I... Don't really know. Out of all these incredible treasures, this one, it. it speaks to me. It's like I can see into the artist's soul. I, I can feel what he felt, all he experienced in his life. That is Love Unforgotten, a work left behind by Bastion, a famed painter from a land to the west. He was quite the admirer of women, and married four times. And yet he could never forget the memory of his first love, who tragically passed when the two were babes of thirteen years. It was his life's work to depict her as a woman grown, the beauty he knew she'd have one day become, working on the piece until the end of his career. Today is one of the world's most famous works of art. <gasps> wow, I never knew. Mr. Leon, would you mind if I looked around a little longer? Of course. To your heart's content, lass. A born merchant, that one. I can see it in her eyes. She knew not a thing of Bastion, yet identified that painting as a masterpiece in an instant. I thought this was just a sleepy seaside town, but this girl... She just might be a shining gem among the rocks. Huh? Did you say something? Yeah! This is the one. Is it alright if I take it, Mr. Leon? This is... Let's have a look now. <laughs> I'm afraid this old thing won't sell for much. It was left behind by a man I once let aboard in my younger days. It seems I neglected to throw it out and it got mixed in here. It's best you choose something else, lass. sure about that. No, I want this one. 
I can't really explain it, but... I feels like it's calling to me. Should, should that be it feels or I feel like? Hmm. It's not right. Is it now? Consider it yours then. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Leon. What is it? <laughs> Fare thee well, lass. Perhaps a day will come when you and I meet as rivals. But I won't be beat. I swear it on my honor as a merchant. Way anchor, men. The ocean calls. I saw it with my own two eyes. Within those dusty pages, I felt like there was something that would change my life forever. to go home and read it all okay so it's a book <laughs> all right return home within that book were the records of a traveller, one who had journeyed to the far ends of the realm. Spellbound, Tressa forgot time, and read every one of his adventures. This world is brimming with treasures, and I know what I'm searching for is out there somewhere. So I'll set sail for the horizon. The great big world beyond. That settles it. It's time I see the world. What? I'm going to leave Ripple Tide and become a traveling merchant. I'll see the world and have customers from every corner of the realm. Oh, Ma, just think about what you're seeing, dear. Traveling merchant? I won't have any. You're not even a stationary merchant yet. You need at least two more years of stocking the store and three years of working the shop front. That's five years before you're ready to go anywhere. Sorry, Pa. My mind's made up. Besides, I'll get all kinds of training on the road. <sighs> I had a feeling you'd say that. There's no point in trying to stop you now, Tressa. You have my blessing. Little girl you're talking about! I know. But I had a feeling this day would come. She is her father's daughter, after all. In the end, being a good merchant boils down to experience. That's just what you'll find out there. Go and see the world, Tressa. Until your heart's content. Understand, but I can't help but worry, Tressa. Do take care of yourself out there, won't you? Be strong, and may the sacred flame light your path. Mm, thanks, Ma. Thanks, Pa. And I'm sorry for leaving. But I'll come back one day. And you'll see just how much I've learned. We wouldn't know what to do if you didn't. <laughs> After all, you're our number one employee. Oh. <laughs> The other half is 
still blank. Guess I'll just have to pick up where he left off. I'll write down everything. I won't leave any stone unturned. From the next chapter on, this will be my story. I'll travel far and wide and journey on until every last page is filled. I don't know what lies beyond the horizon. There's only one way to find out. See ya, Ripple Tide! Adventures as a merchant are just beginning. I'll start by following in the footsteps of a nameless traveler. And journey far, far beyond. Oh my goodness. So, uh, that's Tressa's first chapter. We're done. We now have Tressa in the party, and I love her very much. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's pretty cool. I'm just gonna hit the save block here, and that's it for this video. Uh, next time, we already have access to the next chapter, uh, Cobblestone, but we need to be level 12 is the recommended level for that. We could also go to get Primrose first, but I think we'll do Elberic first, so we'll head to Cobblestone and get Elberic next. But we need to be level 12, it's recommended. Um, most of us are there already, Tressa's definitely not, so I'll probably do a bit of grinding on the way. Um, I'll probably pick up the next video when we actually get to Cobblestone and start with Elberic, so yeah, look forward to that. As for this video, thank you for watching, because it is over. Bye!